Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today we're going to be taking a look at what I think is probably the best mechanical field watch in its price range. The watch is the famous Hamilton Khaki Mechanical. If you saw my video on my trip to Nashville a few months ago, I picked the watch up on that trip and it's been getting quite a bit of wrist time ever since. Now there's a few different variations of this watch so I'll post the model number on screen now. You'll also find that in the description below so let's get into the watch all right now there's quite a few things when it comes to the hamilton khaki line that make them a great watch first of all you're getting a watch with some serious pedigree at a relatively affordable price Hamilton as a brand and the khaki lineup itself has such a rich history. It's kind of nice to have a little slice of that on wrist. Another thing that's great about these is the versatility. This model not as much with the olive green dial, but the black dialed versions can be really dressed up or down for almost any situation. This particular model comes in at the perfect size for me with a case width of just a touch over 38 millimeters. The lug to lug is 47.2 millimeters. Some people I know aren't a fan of the gap between the strap and the case with the longer lugs, but I don't mind it. And it's usually on a NATO for me, so you don't really see that gap. But speaking of straps, the lug opening is 20 millimeters, so easy to find good pairings for it. As far as thickness goes, it's just under 10 millimeters, and that includes the domed sapphire. The water resist is 50 meters and the watch is running the hand winding and hackable 2804-2. The crown is a nice size so easy to top up that power reserve. It's got a pretty nice winding action and this is one of my most accurate watches gaining consistently about 3 seconds per day. The dial is designed to be very legible with markers to indicate the time in 12 or 24 hours. The stark white markers and handset contrasting against the olive green make it really easy to read. The loom isn't the greatest. It's usable, but it fades really quickly. It's kind of cool how they loomed the whole tip of the second hand, but a little stronger loom would have been nice. The case is fully bead blasted. It gives it a tooly look and will probably help hide scratches and scuffs more than a polished or brushed case. The lugs you can see here are drilled for easy strap changes. It's a simple straightforward design but really that's kind of what the khaki is all about. Out of the box the strap it comes with seems decent. I've only worn it a couple of times but it's comfy and probably would hold up well over time. I like the look especially with the steel keeper on wrist it wears well it's a watch that does its job which is no nonsense time telling and that's it and because of that it's almost a little boring in a way if that makes any sense it's just a very low-key watch although playing around with different strap combinations is definitely fun Overall, I love it. It's a great value and a really good way to get your foot in the door to a quality Swiss-made watch without breaking the bank. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.